Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making a Salvadorian slaw, otherwise known as Cortito. Like I said, Cortito is a Salvadorian slaw that's usually made with green cabbage, but in this case I did use the red or the purple cabbage just because I love the intensity and the color that it gives the salad or the slaw in this case. Plus I've heard that red cabbage is slightly better for you. So guys, this is going to be a quick and fairly easy recipe, but it's going to pack a lot of flavor. So if it sounds good to you, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Share this video out. Share this video out. I always appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so here we have our shredded purple cortito. I think it turned out amazing. The color is just fantastic with all of these vegetables. You can go ahead and serve it immediately after it's finished, but if you do allow it to marinate in the fridge for a little bit, all those flavors will come together more and give you a more robust flavor to your cortito. But either way, it's still going to taste amazing. The cortito will usually take about two to five days to ferment, but it requires so little preparation that it's definitely worth it once it is fully fermented. And I guarantee you it won't last long because you'll begin to put it on everything. Here I have it on a pupusa, but you can put it on tacos, your game day nachos, enchiladas, burritos, soups, or even you can put on your bratwurst and your hot dogs or your burgers. It's so versatile, yet it's so delicious. So anything that you might want to eat, like with a sauerkraut or a coleslaw, chances are Cortito is going to be a delicious substitute. And guys, remember you can either use the green cabbage or the red cabbage. And then if you do have some Mexican oregano on hand, go ahead and use that as well. Just make sure you have your carrots, your onions, cabbage, and then that spicy jalapeno to bring all the flavors. So I definitely recommend that you give this quick and easy recipe a try. It might just be your new go-to side salad or even your next go-to topping for your favorite bratwurst or burrito. You choose. I'm sure you're going to love it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Share this video out. Share this video out. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified for when I drop a new video. You guys take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.